Hello viewers, today I'm going to be finally doing my Fire Emblem 3 Houses character tier list, where I rate my characters from favorite to least. Uh, this is well overdue. Um, I also, ha uh, if you're interested, I did create a Fire Emblem series tier list, and uh, I'll leave a link to the, the to that video in the description. So, um, yeah, I finally fin I finished Blue Lions route, my second playthrough, about two months ago at this point. So, uh, yeah, I won't. There's some. There's a uh, few Black Eagles characters that I won't be able to rate properly uh, since I haven't played. That's the only route I haven't played yet. But uh, so, uh, but for the most part, I'll be able to rate most of the characters where I, they are. So, with that, let's get started. So. Yeah, and some of these characters I'm not going to rate, like Tomas and how you pronounce his name, I can't remember. I'm mainly going to be doing the um, uh, the uh, students and the uh, teachers and knights. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll start with the, the knights and the uh, teachers first, get those out of the way, and then I'll go through one uh, the Black Eagles, then the Blue Lions, and then the Golden Deer. I'll, I'll do it that way. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, yeah, I'll start with Shamir, the first one. Um, Shamir? I'd, I'd put it as neutral. I don't, I don't really have anything that I like or dislike about the character. It's just, just kind of fine. Fine. It's like, didn't really care too much about Shamir, so yeah, she's just she's not a very from the supports I've seen. I haven't gotten all of them, but from the ones I've seen, she's she's a very pretty bland character, I'd say. So in my opinion, uh, so I put her there. Uh, Seth. Um. <laughs> I have mixed feelings about this character because, yeah, sometimes he says a really cool. He's uh, like he's very a very wise person. He says he just has some really cool, the nice, nice, cool lines. But at the same time, he can also be a bit of a stick in the mud. So I'm not. I'm gonna put him in neutral. I don't. I can't dislike the character. I don't think I can say I dislike the character because he does. He's a pretty cool character. But I wouldn't say I like the character either. Uh, Rodrig. Neutral. Uh, yeah, I don't have much to say about Rodrig. Uh, yeah, there just isn't enough. You don't see him enough. To, 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 you don't see him enough for him to get attached to, to me, for me to get attached to him, and like, he doesn't. I don't know. There's nothing that, would, that stuck out to him that I liked. Uh, let's see. I'll save our Rhea for last after all the knights in. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, I think I will rate the villains, although rate them more like how as a villain, like how much, like how good of a villain I think they were. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm like, I'm just going to put on Solon and not bother with Tomas because it's the same person. Um, forget your name. It's with the T, but, um, as a villain, I don't think, yeah, he, at least, I don't know. Maybe the black. I get the feeling the black eagles. You're gonna see more of him, a lot more. I have a theory that. Well, I'm not gonna say that for. It could be considered a spoiler. So, but um, yeah, like from what I've seen, he doesn't seem like. Yeah, you don't see him enough. He's not really a memorable villain. Solon, um. I don't know. I I 
think I'll put them in, in neutral. Right. Maybe. I don't know, right there. I think that's fine. I don't. I mean, he's fine. I mean. I don't know. I might put him in dislike later. I don't know. Like. But you don't really see that much of them. That's the problem. Like, a lot of these villains... This is a problem with a lot of the recent Fire Emblem games, is they, the villains, you don't see enough of them. So they're not. none of them are really memorable. You know, I'm going to put them at the top of this, like... And I'm going to rearrange these later. Once they've got more on the list. Okay, Death Knight. I would put... I'd put Death Knight... I'm like, I think he's a pretty, he's, he's one of the, I would say, he's the one memorable villain in the whole game. You fight him so many times. I don't know about the Black Eagles route, but just in case you haven't played all, uh, all the routes, I'm going, or specific ones, I'm not going to say, but I can't, yeah, I can't say too much, but yeah, I like this villain. Um, I think the Death Knight's. Yeah, just he's got he's a pretty he's a pretty cool looking villain too. Like, it just he feels like a villain too. So I'd put him on like. Okay, let's see. Manuela, I just like this character so much. Uh, I put her head head of I put at the top right now, but. I just, I do not like to, I dislike Mamala so much. Like, not, not the most disliked character, but I just, ugh, I just dislike her attitude so much. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've, what is your name? I read your name, but I'm just gonna put a neutral because you only, you know, I'm not even gonna rate the character. Um, Yuritsa. Yeah, I, I don't see much of Yuritsa. Yeah, I'm not gonna rate Yuritsa either. Um, Gerald, I like Gerald. I think he's a pretty cool character. Um. Yeah, you don't get to see him enough. I don't think I'd put him in like a lot. I, put, I think I'd put him in like... Uh, do I put him above or below the Death Knight? I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to put him... I'm going to put him... i put him right below the Death Knight, actually, for now. Uh, Hanneman. I like Hanneman. I think he is hilarious, and I can relate to, some hi to him a little bit. Uh, I would put him at the top of like, yeah, like, yeah, the whole like, my favorite, my favorite moment and most memorable moments, uh, very early on the game, that one conversation with where he comments on how Manuela drop, drops her sandwich, picks it up and keeps on eating. What? When I, oh, when I. When she wait it was like when she looked over it, she simply said three second rule. Ugh, <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. I love that. <laughs> I can't remember they hit to Hanneman in that way. That was yeah, it drives me nuts when people do that. But I like Hanneman. Gilbert. Uh I think I actually dislike Gilbert. This whole attitude's just, yeah, just. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to give a bit of character spoilers, cause like without, cause I can't without. I can't explain the character without giving some. Just yeah, his, he's just so 
he's such a depressing character and just so like just his whole way of thinking is just I just dislike the character. Actually, I think I dislike the character more than Manuela even. Actually, mm, no, I'll put them. Actually, no, they're about this. They're about the same, but I'll put them below. Mon no way, above Manuela. Okay, let's see. Okay, don't need to. Don't worry about worry about you. Um, let's see. Oh, you are at the very bottom. I absolutely despise this character. Enough said. Uh, I don't think. I think people can understand why. But Catherine, I like Catherine. I would put her. Actually, I put him below Gerald. I don't know what it is about the. It's like just her whole. I don't know what it is, it is about the character. There's something about the character that it's just her attitude that I really like. Just I don't know how to explain it. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on the teachers and knights. But, uh, Anna, neutral. I mean, she's a pretty neutral character, I think. Um, don't really see her much. Not much to be said about her. Uh, did I miss anyone else? Okay. I absolutely love... I, li I like... Uh, I l yeah, I like Ali's a lot. I might even put him on the love category. Like, he is such a funny character. Yeah, he's just a, a he's he has such a uplifting character. He's just a, and so funny. You know, I'll, I I don't think he's quite enough to put in the love category. I would put him at like a lot. So, uh, okay, so that's all. Oh wait, no, I got to rate Rhea. Uh, Rhea. I feel a little neutral about Rhea. Uh, there are things I like and dislike about the character. It's just the whole... Not so much dislike. It's just, it's just a very bland character. I feel like you don't... Yeah, you don't really learn enough about her character. I, I didn't get her supports higher than the C, so maybe... Imagine you can learn more about her that way, but until I get that, unfortunately, I did not get that in my second playthrough because I did not understand how something worked. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I guess I'll rate Sothis next. Actually, Sothis, I I like Sothis. I think even though you don't see her much. Just, I, <laughs> she's, I, she, I like her, her attitude, and she's, I'll, I love her design. I absolutely love her design. Of all the, I am assuming she's a dragon. Like she looks like a mannequin. I'm gonna assume she is. Of all the mannequins, I would say her she her design is my favorite of all the mannequins from all the five of them games. Um, yeah, it also also helps that she's also vo her English voice is Cassandra Lee Morris, which is one of my favorite voice actresses. She's so I put her at the top of like. Okay, so I think. Okay, I think that's all. I'm gonna quickly organize these by house. Well, let me do it this way, and I'll and I will get back. Okay, I'm back. I have these organized. So, 
All right. First, before I do, I'm good. Before I do three houses, I'm going to. I'm going to rate. Let's see, Cyril. I just like this character. I would put him. Actually, I put him below Solon. I just. His whole attitude just. Just. Oh, some of the supports does show that he does. He does change, but I don't. Just. Just. His all. Just. I don't know, it's just... Yeah, he just... I just dislike this character. Just, Yeah, I don't want to say too much about it. I just dislike the character. Um, Flane? I like this character a lot. I would put her... I'd put her... above Eloise. Um, I might... Put her in the love category. I'm not. I, I like this character a lot. She's so funny and she, she's smart, cute design. <laughs> she's a very unique character. Just and she has some of the best supports. Some of the, some of the, my favorite characters. So it's just. Uh, I love this kid, Flane. I love Flane so much. Okay. All right, and you know, I'll do. I'll just get this out of the way right now. Um, Byleth. Dislike. No, I can't put them there. I'll put them. Below Solon, actually. Because they just have no character, they're in freaking mute. I again, I wish, I wish they would have actually made an actual protagonist instead of a mute. It's just, I mean, it's better. It's better than actually no. No, Robin at least talked. I think, if I remember correctly, I. Can't. And corn, I think. I can't even remember. This is terrible. I mean, they try to give some character. I mean, <laughs> the character is probably. I mean, the character is, is like he's a quiet, kind of like emotionless character, which is very appropriate for a bland, for a custom character that is doesn't talk. But yeah, just there's nothing to say about. The, I don't have anything good to say about the character. Okay, so on to the Black Eagles first. I'm gonna just I'm gonna put Edgard neutral. I until I play the Black Eagles, I can't give a fair opinion on the character. But from what I've seen, I as from what I've seen, I don't really care about the character. I wouldn't say I dislike the character, but I don't care about her either. And Hubert's the same. I, I can't say even less so like I know nothing about this like almost nothing about this character. Lindhart, I like Lindhart. He is hilarious. I it seems I could see it seems a lot of people like him too just from the monthly activities. I always wonder why. After seeing some sports, I can I can see it. I mean. I wouldn't say I like him a lot, but I he's pretty funny. I would put him below Catherine. Okay. Uh Petra Petra, I love Petra. She's I would put her all the way up there for sure. I love her design, especially after the time skip. Her at post her time skip design is probably my favorite in the game. Uh, just yeah, and her whole like speech thing, and just yeah, she she reminds me a lot of uh, Lynn in a way, like the long, the long ponytail and living um, a sword master class. Yes, um, I mean th I think she's made to be a sword master. 
I think. But yeah, just and she, the, the her background where she comes comes from sounds all, reminds me a lot of Lynn. It's kind of how how Lynn lived on a, on like on the plains, and she, like it's in a very it's a very nature. It's surrounded by nature. Kind of like Petra, how she's surrounded by like, water and forests. And... Yeah, I, I like, I love Petra, it's her character, a lot. Yeah, I can't, yeah, I've seen, uh, I've seen all of her supports, except for the ones with other Black Eagles. Because I wanted this, I purposely saved those for the Black Eagles route, so that I at least have some. At least have those to look at during the Black Eagles route, because otherwise I would have had all Petras easily. All right, next is Caspar. Uh. I did get to see him some of his supports in the Blue Lions route, and I was I haven't seen enough from him to make a say how much I like him, but I think I do I do like the character. He's a very kind soul, very kind character. He's got <laughs> he's got a funny attitude. Just yeah, it, he's very fun. He's funny, a funny character. I put him. I think I'd actually put him right behind Sothis. Yeah, and I'm there's actually there's a little special thing for Caspar specifically. I'm surprised that there are no YouTube videos of this. Um, on a rare occasion, uh, at tea time, at tea time, when he drinks out of the uh, the teacup. He'll slurp. <laughs> it's very rare. I've only seen it twice. Like we actually sat in tea time, just waiting for him to do it. It took. I'm probably sit there a good, maybe 15, 20 minutes before he finally did it. But at first, I heard that he was cracking up so hard. It was so funny, <laughs> and so fitting for his character too. Alright, next is Dorothea. I love Dorothea. She is absolutely up there. Ahead of Petra. I love her design. Okay, actually. Uh, no, I'm, I was wrong. Dorothea's pr uh, pre-time skip design is my favorite in the game. And then Petra's uh, after the time skip. I, I love her design. Just her character. She's, she's so... <laughs> Yeah, just, just how she just, the way, her, <laughs> the way she deals with characters like Lawrence and just no, just no, um, Lawrence in particular, just <laughs> I, I just love her, her attitude, just yeah, and she, she has a very kind soul, a very kind character, just the way she feel how, like she really. She feels pain for for all the, just all the, like, I think Dorothea more than any other character show, and you see it in more in the, after the time she has, just how much she really feels pain for others, just, just, she, she's, she's a, she's a very mature character for her, her, for her age, and just, Yeah. Also, I think it's I. Per, I personally think she's the most beautiful of the of the f females, and she's the only commoner in the Black Eagles. Not that being a commoner has anything to do with beauty at, at whatsoever, but I. I don't know. I don't know why I find that amusing, but. 
Yeah, just. Yeah, she's and she's such a tease too. It's just <laughs> I I love this character. I love everything about this character. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Ferdinand von Eyer. <laughs> I haven't seen enough of this character to say where exactly this character is. He is. He seems like a character I might like. He seems like a, although, way too, over, too, way too over himself. Thinks way too much highly of himself. He does seem like he's a very kind character. Like I would. Yeah, like, it's hard to say where exactly he is. I hate his attitude. Like he just oh thinks he's so much better than he actually is. Like he's like so talented and whatever. But he does seem like a pretty kind character. So I don't know. I'm gonna put him in neutral, right uh, between Seth and Rodrigue. And Bernie, I love Bernie. I will put her up in there for sure. Um, I'm kind of torn. I don't know where if I, I put Bernie behind in between Petra or Petra and Dorothea or below Petra I, these two Petra and Bernie are very close but I, I don't think I had to explain why Bernie is such a great character I oh, she's so she's so sweet and so adorable and I love her design after the time skip I love it so much yeah, of all the characters, I think hers is the. I think her post time skip, or her. Yeah, her design after the time skip is so much better than her pre time skip design. I think it's one of the biggest improvements. But yeah, she's 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 so sweet and so cute. I. <laughs> she's such a sweetheart. Um, is that all the Black Eagles? Yeah. Yeah, that's all of them. Yeah, as you can see, I like a lot of the Black Eagles. We've got three of them there. We've got two of them here. Yeah, the other ones are neutral, because I don't really know much about them. But, yeah, Black Eagles is initially the house I chose, actually. But my sister also plays the game, and she chose the Golden Deer, and I wanted to be able to discuss with her the story so I restarted on the Golden Deer. Thankfully I only got two hours into the Black Eagles and part of me is kind of sad but at the same time I'm yeah I'm happy with going with the Golden Deer. That's kind of ironic. I kind of f funny though because Golden Deer is the house I was going to end up doing last and I ended I think I so far I end up I like the Golden Deer. Onto the Blue Lions. Start with Dimitri. Uh, I feel neutral about Dimitri. Like he's a pretty bland character. Uh, I put him right above Edelgard. Uh, <laughs> funny enough. Um, yeah, just I don't really have much to say about him. Like. I don't have anything that I like about the character or dislike it. Like, he's just the definition of neutral. Uh, to do. I would say, I wouldn't, I, I'm pretty neutral about to do. I would definitely put him higher than Dimitri, higher than On, higher than Rodrigue, higher than Ferdinand. Uh, uh, higher than Sedith. I think this is good. Actually, I'm going to put Rhea down. I'm going to put Rhea down here. Ahead of Rodrigue. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> I love their support. Their support is just it's the two the two characters who just talk the least. You put those two together, it's hilarious. 
that was a really that was a, I like that support a lot. Yeah, to do. He's a very kind character, and yeah, he has some he has some good moments, some really sweet moments, and funny moments, and some funny moments. But yeah, I just I do not like his whole like his loyalty. He takes it, I think too far sometimes. So actually, I think I'm gonna put him below Seth. Maybe even below for Nan Vine Iron. Nah, that wouldn't be fair because I don't haven't seen all of his character yet. Uh, I'll put him there. That's fine. All right, Ingrid. I like Ingrid a lot. Uh, I would put her. May let's. I would put her maybe. Below, fl yeah, below Flane. Yeah, I love her design. I personally like her design from before the time skip more, but I do like her design after the time skip. Um, yeah, just her whole. She's very. Yeah, not so. I don't like her so much for her like her knightly character, like knightly side, but more. See how to explain. Like, just like her openness to suggestions, um, just and the way she treats like Sylvain. Just actually, I would think I think I'd put her below Eloise actually. But yeah, I just, I really like her design, just, yeah, I think she's borderline, like, a lot. She, I might even put her in, like, yeah, I'm going to put her, like, right, right below south is actually, yeah. Uh, Felix. Felix, I have mixed feelings about. He he has some really cool, like, he has some really good lines and some really good thoughts. At the same time, he can be such a jerk. I just, yeah, I never liked Sundre characters. I know a lot of people do. I don't understand. Um, I think I'd put him in like. I do like a lot of some of his views and thoughts I do appreciate a lot. I can understand and resonate with. Um, I think I would put him... I think i put him above Ingrid. Actually, i put him at the top of, like... Yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, Sylvain. Yeah, first I did dislike this character, but after finding out about his character, he's actually a pretty cool character. I would... I think I like the character, and I would put him... I think I'd put him below... in between the Death Knight and Gerald, which is interesting. Uh... <laughs> Actually, no. No. Right there. Right at the cusp of, like... Like, I like the character, but not that much. Like... I can under I can resonate with the character a little bit. I can understand the character a little bit. Not so much resonate with, but... He does have some pretty funny lines. All right. Next, we have Annette. I absolutely love Annette. I feel I feel like a lot. I'm one of the few people who like the character. Like I, based on the activity, I would put her right here here at the top. 
yeah, just based on activity, I almost never see Annette. I love Annette so much. I love her design from preferably before the time skip, but I also like her design after the time skip. She's such an adorable character, and just I love her voice. I love the voice of Dorothea and Petra, by the way, and Bernie. Just a lot of these characters. I think they're really good, the English voices. But yeah, and I love Annette's singing. It's so adorable. Her support with Claude and um, Felix. Those are two of my favorites. Just her, she's so she's so bubbly and and cheerful. And I love just her klutzy added her klutz klutzy and klutziness and not that's a weird way to put it like it has some charm to it and i explain it just just her react how <laughs> she's just her reaction to whenever she trips over something it just she, she feels the most natural character to me like all mostly all these most of these characters are very anime-ish like they have very anime feel character feel to them but i think annette is for the most part pretty normal Maybe not normal is the right word, but like a character you could see in real life. Like Annette, I think, is a character that you you could find someone like that. Whereas most, I think most of the other characters here, you wouldn't find a character like them in real life. Lindhart especially. Like. <laughs> I don't know, maybe... Yeah, I mean, there's some other characters, but I feel like a lot of them are, there are a lot of them are very, anime. you wouldn't find people like them. Uh, next is Mercy. I like Mercy. She's, actually, I think I like her, I like her, I end up liking her more than I thought I would. Like, from my song, The Golden Deer, it's like, okay, this character's pretty cool, but I don't know if I like her, I mean, that much. And after seeing her supports, I like her a lot. She's very mature, very sweet, very, very kind. Just not so not so much funny, but she does have some she has some fun, some funny moments. Just yeah, actually, I think I put her above Aloise. Just yeah, she and I I actually, I like to end up liking her design after the times get more in the blue line than the golden deer. I wasn't a fan of it at first, but it grew on to me. Actually, I, and I like it more than her pre-time skip design. Ash. I feel neutral about Ash. Like, there's nothing I really like or dislike about the character. Um, I think I put him below, actually below, in between Sadith and Dudu. Yeah, just nothing really stuck out to me. Like, about Ash. He's just kind of standard character. Nothing, I mean, he's a very kind character, but nothing other than that, nothing else really st stood out. Alright, now, on to the Golden Deer. And, I can get that out of the way right now. We're gonna go Claude. Claude's at the very top. Claude is my favorite character, without it by far, without a doubt. He's the reason why I'm glad I switched to the Golden Deer first. Like I, well, the first time I saw Claude, I, was like, I had a feeling I was gonna like this character, but I ended up liking him a lot more than I anticipated. Just and very early on too. Like he just, it just kept getting. Like kept liking him more and more, like very early on in the story, like to the point where it's like, oh gosh, like this character could legitimately be, like this character legitimately could be my fa new favorite Fire Emblem character. Like I like this character so much, just the design, the voice. He uses a bow, which is my favorite weapon. Like his whole character, he's just, he's just I love his, like his teasing, his teasing attitude. Just he's so, like he's very smart. He 
he's clearly about a lot about life. He's very kind. He's just oh, he's so funny. It's like <laughs> just everything about this character is at the very least. I think this character is in my top three favorite Flyma characters. No questions asked. Like there's no way he's not in my top three. But I oh, I absolutely love 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 this character so much i can't say i can't say enough good things about this character just the amount of like every time like every single support with emblem i've loved pretty much every support that involves claude like every conversation the dialogue the story especially early on more so early on before the time skip just every single conversation is just something that's just funny or really cool that he says. It's just, I, I love Claude so much. He's such a. Uh. It's been a long time since I've liked a care from the character this much. It has been a long time. Okay, so on to the next character, Hilda. I just like this character. I dislike her her attitude just I even after finding out why she's the way she is I just dislike her attitude which, and just taking advantage of other people I would put her I'd put her below Gilbert right there Ignatz um I'm neutral about Ignatz and I'd actually put him at the very bottom. He's, uh, yeah, just nothing really sticks out about him to me. I mean, he's he's a kind character, but the, even after the time skip, when he's got more confident and less shy, just I don't know. I don't know. He just didn't. Nothing stuck out to me. Leone. I like, I think, yeah, I like Leone. And I, I know, it seems, I think a lot of people don't. I would put her, <laughs> I kind of tempted to put her right next to Gerald. Uh, but I am going to put her. Right behind Felix. And. Yeah, I know her whole thing with talk about Gerald all the time. Yes, I get it. It can be annoying to some people. I get that. The things I like about Leone, for one, how she wants to be a knight to protect. How, how she was saved by Gerald as a kid. She wants to do the same, be follow in the footsteps and save others like how she was saved by Gerald. That I have a lot of respect for. And how and also how she want the saving the like saving everything and not letting anything go to waste even the simplest things something that i think a lot of people take for granted and that's one of the things i like about the leone just not taking things for granted and not letting things go to waste i have a lot of respect for that uh I think we, I think we do take things that we have for granted and just kind of throw them away. Like, yeah, there are people out there who have like nothing. Who would? Yeah, it it it, it kind of, it hurts. Yeah, every time I just throw something away, like. Like food, for example. I eat food. Just thinking, just we just so casually throw things away that pe people would be happy to even have. Just that really, just thinking of it that, thinking like that, it's just the thought of that. It's just it really hits hits me hard. But. Yeah, I do. I like Leone, and I like I liked her support with 
Ask Felix, and I liked a lot of her supports. Just... I liked Leone. Actually, I think no. Yeah, I think this is good. Right here. Actually, I don't know. I'm not sure. I might like her more than Felix. I'm not sure. Uh, I might come back to that. I'll come back to that. Lawrence. Ah, oh, Lawrence. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm determining to put him in dislike or at the very bottom of neutral, and I don't think anyone's surprised. Uh, I don't know anyone that likes Lawrence. Yeah, I'm gonna put him at the top of the di dislike. Just, I, I don't think I need to explain why. And if you like Lawrence, that's perfectly fine. But I just do, I do not like his attitude. Just, he's so full of himself, and the whole nobility thing is just, uh, every, yeah. I mean, he does have some funny conversations, but for the most part, just every, so many of his supports are just so cringy. Or a lot of his lines are so. Just the things he says, just uh, please stop. He's he's one of those characters that's kind of fun to make to make fun of. <laughs> uh, next, like Scythia. Uh, at first, I didn't think too much about the character. I didn't think I was gonna like her that much, but I ended up liking the character. Um. Yeah, just, just yeah, and after finding out just the whole, yeah, I don't know how, like, how deep they go into the, her backstory in Black Eagle, so I don't want to ruin it for, um, people have only played the Black Eagles route at this point, but I mean. Yeah, just the whole story why she is the way she is just how she, she's she's just so in a rush to improve and and why she gets upset at people call, treating her like a child and such and Yeah, I do actually I'm gonna put her Yeah, that's too high up. I'm actually gonna put her right in between Casper and Hanneman. Like I do like the character, but not that much. I... She does have some very sweet moments and some very um yeah, some very sweet moments in the supports. Um try and think of one in particular. Uh problem is I can't remember because I didn't get any I got all the all the sports I saw for her were in the Golden Deer, and that was months ago. It was like six months or so ago. That was definitely more than that. Or maybe like eight months ago. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Lysithia and Felix. That was a sweet one. I liked that one a lot. But. Yeah. Yeah, she's. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Leslie, but I do like her. Marianne. I feel a little neutral about this character. Uh, put her right above Ash. Uh, she's very, uh, she is absolutely adorable, but just. Yeah, she's just so neg, so. 
I guess Bernie's pretty negative too. I don't know what it, just Marianne never really. I love she's yeah she just you know what actually no I'm gonna put her like I do right below no above Sylvain and yeah in between Sylvain and um Lintard she does she she does have some very she does have some very sweet supports that I liked, but yeah, I wouldn't put her any higher than that because she's she's not very. Yeah, she she's her character just just isn't for me. She doesn't talk. It's like she's not very expressive. I like the characters that are very expressive and show a lot of emotion. Okay, and the last character of this tier list, Raphael. I love Raphael. I put her right at, below, right behind Bernie. Uh, that's funny. They ended up together. Um, they got married in my first playthrough, which I am was happy with. I love that support. That was so such a cute support uh yeah this every support with this character has had me laughing so hard I, and he's he's such a simple character but he's so so funny just normally i don't really care for these characters with obsession just they're just obsessed with food but this Raphael is so funny he's also, he has such a sweetheart too he's so kind just He's so funny, like so many of his lines, and in the monastery too. It's just this character is just straight the humor. The humor is the one, like that's the one thing that I like about this character is humor, and that's it. He's just so funny. Oh, and it's sweet, sweet side, just kindness. So two things, but it's mainly, mainly the humor. He's just so funny. Okay, so let's quickly look over this. Um, we get back to some of these. Um, Felix and Leone. Uh, this is this is tough. You know, I'm gonna put Leone above of Felix, but they're up there. Um, I think that's good for Sothis and Grid. Caspar. Uh, Shamir, Zedith, Ash, to do. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna put Flane up in the low. Well, ah, like she's a Flane is so close. Like I'm not sure she's either barely in the love category or barely. She's either or just yeah, she's either barely in or not. Um. I do love her design and her character. She's so she's sweet and smart. And, you know, I'm gonna put her at the very yeah, right below Raphael. Which oh my, by the way, that is probably my favorite support. I don't know. There's so many good supports, especially with Raphael. The Raphael and Flynn is so funny. It is so funny. <laughs> if you haven't seen that one, I. I would highly suggest if if you don't plan on getting the game, look it up on YouTube. It is so funny, <laughs> and you've got to see it in English. I've listened to it in English and Japanese. It is not nearly as funny in Japanese. It's not the voices. The voice for Flane in English for this for this support in particular is just so much better. Whether you prefer Japanese or English, like it's just the voice. 
if you if you want if you listen if you watch both watch in both languages i think you'll understand you'll see it just <laughs> it sounds so much funnier but yeah if in english it sounds funny in japanese it just sounds adorable it gives a different feel for in for a different feel so but yeah i think this looks good this uh yeah, like most of the characters up here are are pretty even, for or actually for most of the tier list actually, like all the characters and dislike are pretty even. For the most part, uh, and neutral they're pretty much even. Uh, like, yeah, like they're pretty, pretty. There's unlike there's probably the biggest separation. I would say like, I would say. The first five, I would say the first five characters are pretty much the same, and then the next, I would say these three are about the same, next three are about the same, and then I would say the next five are pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, and in love, but. Claude is just far ahead of everyone else. Annette, Annette is pretty close to Dorothea. And then these four are not even close to these three. Like not even close. I love th I love these four, but they're not. None of them are even close to Dorothea. Um, and actually. I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might want Raphael above Bernie. Bernie's just adorable. Like she's just, she's so adorable. But that's pretty much it. Raphael's just straight humor <laughs> and kind kindness. Yeah, like they're pretty these two are pretty much even. Hmm. I think I'm fine with them being there. I think that's fine. These three are pretty these three are pretty much even these four are pretty much even right here. Yeah, so that's my Five of the Three Houses character tier list. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know which characters in the comments section that you really like or dislike. Uh, what do you think of my opinion on these characters? What do you think of my placements? Which or which ones do you feel the same about? Which ones do you feel different about? I'm sure there are meant to be very different opinions. Um, some I could see being very similar. Uh, I'd be very interested to hear what your opinions on these characters are. So feel free to let me know. I would love to see. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a smashing day.